All right. Because as I was mentioning, they're not. It's not going to be too useful. Oh. Um, these having four fairies. I mean, yeah, four fairies is basically four extra lives. But because each extra life only gives me five hearts, it's not going to be too helpful in Treacherous Tower. So we're going to keep our three fairies as well as we've now got a blue potion. There is a fifth bottle in the game. I can't remember at the moment how to get it. I figure we'll do Tetris Tower first and then we'll worry about it. So back to our house just so we can teleport over and then go over to um, the Treacherous Tower again. Um, yes, we have enough rupees, we could actually purchase some stuff. I'm just worried because Treacherous Tower costs, I think, 300 each time you run through it. So, um, this gives us seven attempts, roughly. Plus, we can always kill this guy each time we pass him. He's, he's nice fodder for us now. Because it's two hits, and that's no time at all. Iron Taxi. Alright. Like last time, we are going to be running in with both our hammer... And I'm going to just auto-equip the Fire Rod. It is a nice starting weapon. We're full health. We've got three fairies and a potion. So. Well, well, well. Double boom in the room. I'm so impressed. The advanced course has 50 floors. Alright, 300 rupees for 50 floors. Let's do it. Um... The number of folks who have returned alive from this course is a big fat zero. Ooh, alright, so it looks like we are going to be the first to return alive from this course. That is nice to know. Well, let's start this off with the same trial we had last time, though each time one dies it seems more are jumping up. So, already it's a very different situation, and as long as we're killing them with the sword beams, uh, we're not risking getting electrocuted, even if those don't actually ever electrocute you. I'm too used to them being that or the uh, yellow ones. With sword beams, like last time, we're going to have an easy start. Uh, but once sword beams are gone, uh, it's going to get a lot more difficult. Uh, not to the point where I will rely on my potion so early, but, um, before the end, I'm certain we'll have drank that blue potion. That went well. Just spam your sword in that room and you're fine. Ah, there they go. They used the same troops to get me again. Took two hits from that fight. Uh, not the end of the world. Yet with the Max Master Sword, uh, no issues at all to wipe out those guys. And you see, if we had Sword Beams, that would have been a little easier. Oh, these guys actually take two hits even with the Max Sword. I can't imagine how difficult this would be trying to do it with the, uh, I'll say the uh, Captain Sword. Oh, I was going to say, did you? Come on with the captain sword just because, well, you remember how much weaker it is than the master sword. The, the difficult part in that one was they are just not going to be available to hit. Oh look! Money! You can see already a few of them do have bigger shadows. The fact that you can't pick up the rupee with your sword is enough for me to know that, hey, it's a like like. Fortunately, they go down pretty quick, and as long as you've made it to this floor, you're getting a nice, I think there was five red rupees there, so that's a nice hundred rupees there. One third of our entry fee repaid. Blue ones are one hit, red ones are two hits. So I'd keep that in mind as you're attacking them. Because you can basically run through the blue ones as long as you are going to be killing them, so... Alright. 
right, they're all down. We've only taken two hearts of damage, and we've finished a fifth of the area. Oh sweet, they give a nice heal up floor. I didn't remember, I've actually never done this one completed. I don't want to try to, yeah, avoid going into the fire path these bad ones are going to make. Uh, however, it's an ice floor now, so it's a little harder. And these seem to be showing off a lot of the enemies that are uh, not just overworld, but specific dungeons, too. Um, like the fire ones, those were the helm, helm rock ones. So knockback is huge in this uh, floor. Also, I don't like crabs. Goodbye, all the Zoras. Three and a half hearts now. Ugh. We took more damage on that one. Remember these guys? Yeah, they're one hit. Still. Makes it a lot less threatening. The uh, penguins come and charge at you. I'm just gonna throw fire at them because... The red one's being able to split, and if you're mid-swing and you hit a uh, one that's electrifying, it's still gonna hurt you. Alright, no damage from that floor. Uh, we're doing pretty good. Red ones are cheaters, so feel free to throw your own fire back at them. But the fire rod, even if you have a beginner sword, is going to be one of the better weapons to use here. Oh, we remember this mid boss. Gotta keep hammering away at it till it goes down, and hope that yeah we don't get wiped off by um, falling off the map like uh, what's his name uh, the eye boss was doing to us. I still can't believe he knocked the map so much. Yeah, no, we're we're just gonna deal with you the easy way. Wow, every single one of them instantly took a fire hit and died. And they actually give you less hearts now, oddly enough. We'll take them, and we'll continue on. Two left? Yep. Shouldn't have got that last one, but I'm glad I did. Oh no, the mice are back. These are just the evil versions of basically what you were running into in the like the sanctuary uh, path. Oh, hey, it's the desert overworld. I wonder if they're gonna try to get the um, what's it called, the sand monsters in here as well. I guess not. That would have been interesting. The last one we can, alright. Honestly, not going as bad as I expected uh, for everything that's really happening in this area. Not liking the combination of a bumper and these evil Mordorms, which I don't know if that's their actual name, but it's what I'm thinking they are. 
Oh, hey, I don't think we've seen uh, blue ones of these. But apparently, they're just mildly stronger than the red, than the green ones. Which, I guess that makes sense if we think of them in terms of rupees. 1, 5, 20. Until we get the red swarm of these guys, I think we'll be... One killed the other with an arrow. That's kind of an interesting start. Nope. You you don't even get to be on screen. Yeah, he does. He has a bit of an issue, but we just oh god, you guys. Uh, I don't think I have an item that's gonna help take him out quickly. So bring him to an edge and push him. And that's going to be the fastest way you'll ever take out those guys. Floor 30, a single heart. Nice of them, nice of them. I'm actually a little surprised. Floor 30 already. Come on, game. I know it's ice and all, but that much of a slide back? I do like that they add these guys in to make it, there's a few more annoyances mid-slide. Uh, and you need a sub-weapon to take them out, I think. I don't think there's any way to take those guys out without a sub-weapon. Okay, so we can't see the map right now, but we can see there's actually other boos as well. Uh, not just the ones you can only see in darkness. Alright, with that, let's get our lamp out, and apparently not be able to find the last one. There it is. It's unfortunate we actually have to switch to our lamp there. Um, however, we can go right back to the hammer now. They are vaporized. It's a shame that all the ice enemies die so easily to that. I, I guess not. Ooh, bomb slugs. Those are interesting. And the eyes would throw you off, making you think it's like Igors or something. Interesting. I like that combination. That's a nice room. Oh look, another single heart for Floor Fry. Unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's not an instant fail the dungeon when they touch you, like it was when they touched your, um, the female thief. It's like, no, yeah, game over. More of these blue guys. We've already seen that, one, they can actually hit each other, so that might be a solution you want to aim for. Uh, and two, they die in one hit. Ah, this one's the Igors. But I would say, I think they're down to one hit. You can look at our health, we're down to three and a half hearts. I think we'll continue to at least 40. Then we'll make our call. Ice and the blue wizard robes. Nice and easy to take out. This is why I said we'll go to 40. Alternatively, we could wait for our first death and then make the call. Uh, like the other one of those, just try to restrict them from the um, fight as much as possible. And we got him. We pushed him off the edge, but we got him. Floor 40. So if you had used one, um, you would get your fairy returned here, and you would enter the final stretch. It's a shame, you guys will take two hits. Oh, you take more than two hits? Interesting. I was gonna say, I got so much uh, rupees from you guys in the overworld. I'm kind of wondering what the, like, reasoning behind all these guys being in this cave is. Like, yeah, okay.
they can just jump right off of the cliff, and that's going to be the easiest way to take out most of them, because they will jump whenever you swing your sword. Since they also retreat, they kind of just fall to their own doom. I'm really, I'm trying to not um, waste my blue potion, because if I can keep it to um, the final boss, I'd rather. So, that's going to be my plan for right now. But we are on, what, 44? It's because I don't have enough monster tails. That's unfortunate. Our first death. In this tower. I, I will be specific. But yeah, it caught us the same way it did last time. second the fire touches it, it dies. So I was a little upset that I hit the uh, wrong one at the time. 45 not actually being a uh, heal-up point is a surprise to me. But I assume it's because 50 is going to be... No, sorry, 49 is going to be a heal-up point. So that's enough reason to me to go like, okay, that's fine. I don't recall ever fighting you red guys. However, like the blue ones, I just to kite you and I can take you out. Maybe you're in uh, the final tower. Um, like, what is it, the low rule castle? Ooh. Okay, right off the bat. I'm gonna want to take out the blue ones. If I can. Oh, they're actually immortal right now. Fun. Throw that and that. We're gonna drink our blue potion. Oh, you can use those to help. Interesting. Did not expect that. We have used our blue potion. Unfortunately, that means we have no more healing um, outside of the fairies. And we've already seen those are just a five point heal. Now, these guys, I don't think we've seen at all. Mainly because I have no idea who they are. But they go down pretty quick. Oh, Black Lionels. Yuck. Nope, knock off. They must hit twice as hard as a regular Lionel, which is... Well, we have our defense increased, so... Twice as hard or have twice as much health. Either way, falling off the cliff kills any enemy. 50. It's Moldor. On ice. If you remember correctly, Moldor did uh, get the better of us for most of uh, the last time we fought it, so this is a bit of an issue with it being a Shadow Moldor, which is what I'm going to unfortunately be referring to him as. I don't know that I have any uh, specific thing that will help us in this fight. Outside of use your shield, it's helpful. And Moldorm goes down. That took longer than expected, but that's the Treacherous Tower complete. And there was one big reason we did this. Because look at this payoff. We are up to 7,705 rupees. That's going to be enough for the rest of our preparations to buy the rest of the items and get everything right. Our clear time was 12 minutes and 12 seconds. We have the super lamp. This is how you upgrade your lamp as well as your net. All we have to do is clear advance again. And as long as you have the net. And this is where we get the super net. But with that, I didn't want to spend the extra money to repurchase it, but we've got plenty. Um, we are good. Thank you all for watching. But I guess we're about to head into Low Rule Castle. It's probably two episodes, maybe three episodes left until the finale. So I hope you guys are all excited. That's 
pretty much everything done now at this point. And have a great day, guys. See you next time.